subscribe to movie learnings and click on the bell icon to get notification on all new travel videos guangzhou in southern china is a huge metropolis that combines old and new offering sights and attractions for everyone no matter if you are a history buff or looking for a family friendly holiday destination so let's explore the place guangzhou 1 chime long tourist resort for a full day or even a week of fun chime long tourist resort has it all amusement park international circus water park safari park and birds park if that's not enough the neighborhood city Zhuhai has an ocean kingdom aquarium too during weekends and holidays it can get quite busy try visiting on a weekday instead 2 Canton Tower the landmark of Guangzhou the Canton Tower rises up to almost 600 meters and illuminates the scenery with colorful lights in the evening it was briefly the tallest tower in the world and includes coffee shops restaurants observation decks and rides for the adrenaline junkie standing tall at over 1900 feet canton tower once held the title for the tallest tower in the world 3. bayan mountain a hike up bayan mountain was one of the best things in guangzhou it was a lot of fun going up down and all around the various parks and top guangzhou attractions in bayan itself from bird park to beautifully landscaped gardens summits and well-paved paths Bayan is the perfect family fun destination. Entry to Bayan is just 5 Chinese yuans and is worth every penny. 4. Beijing Road is not only a popular shopping district but we found it to be a great venue for photography and long walks. With so many pretty lanterns and buildings amidst malls and retail shops, simply loved the vibe of Beijing Road even though you wasn't looking to buy anything. 5. Guangdong Museum To learn more about the history and culture of Guangzhou, tourists can explore the new Guangdong Museum built next to the Huaqing Square. The main exhibitions are Guangdong History and Culture, and the Natural Resources of Guangdong. Besides these, the museum hosts a variety of temporary exhibitions. 6. Shemian Island Separated from the mainland by a small canal, Shemian Island used to be an important port for foreign trade from the Song to Qing dynasties. Because of its history, it is like a small European town in the middle of China, perfect for a walk for an hour or two. 7. Red Tree Once industrial factories, Red Tree is now an area of art galleries, artist studios, art spaces, organizations, hip offices, fashion stores, and artsy coffee shops. Visitors come here for art exhibitions, but also for the creatives and inspiring surroundings perfect for photography and other arts. 8. Lee Wan Lake Park Popular with tourists and locals, Lee Wan Lake Park is a tranquil spot to while away a few hours during the day. There are boat cruises around the man-made lake and if you visit on the weekend you might come across a free opera performance. What's most entertaining is watching local, mostly retired, residents playing games of foot badminton. If you watch long enough they might even invite you to join a game. 9. Smell the Orchids The best time to visit Canton Orchid Garden is during Spring Festival in January-February when the gardens are in full bloom. The park has 200 plus varieties of orchids and other flowers, and is a veritable oasis in the city. Even if you visit outside of blooming season, the gardens provide an antidote to the city's hustle and bustle. 10. Get in touch with the gods. In the surrounds of Lee Wan Park is Rinwe Temple, a 900-year-old Taoist temple dedicated to the worship of the Northern Emperor. Like many temples, it is incredibly ornate and has dozens of statues of deities. It is a site of continued significance to Taoist worshippers who offer up gifts of fruit and incense on a daily basis. Thank you for watching please do subscribe, like share and comment this videos with your friends.